Okay, welcome to another lesson. It's Thursday the 13th of November 08. Today I want to just discuss something that I've had conversations about fairly recently and it regarding, it's regarding middle C, the middle C confusion. So where is middle C on a guitar? In relation to the open strings and in relation to normal music notation the grand staff the grand staff um, is this uh, this here these five lines represent music notation known as a staff or stave when you get two together joined by a line this one would be different it would have the bass clef I've just put a treble clef because I'm kind of repeating but if it was joined by a line with the bass clef here like a backward C it would be known as the grand staff for piano playing but if we just look at the top the treble the higher notes here underneath here we have the middle C if you're familiar with uh, normal music notation you will know that these lines here uh, can be remembered by every good boy deserves favour and in between we've got the spaces F A C E but basically if you was to say each one of them the line the space the line the space we just go um, E F G A B C D E F and so forth underneath we've got this note middle C with a ledger line going through the centre. It's like an extension of these lines. Middle C is shared between, or it's a halfway mark between the bass clef stave and the treble clef stave. It's shared between the two on the piano. Now, it's halfway along a keyboard or a piano keyboard. You look for two black notes just below to its left, you'll find middle C sometimes it's over to the left, sometimes it's over to the right it depends on the length of the keyboard but roughly halfway along the keyboard that's where you'll find middle C and it's represented here that's where you'd start playing the piano middle C there represented by that note symbol here but when we're tuning the open strings to a guitar we actually start nearly down two octaves look, but just above that C here so we, we're coming down, let's have a look if we find that C your middle one, come down to the next C, look for your two, group of two black notes, look for your next two group of black notes, but go to the right here of these two, and that's your E, that's your sixth thickest string. Let me just check you can see that. Yeah, it's slight distant away. So that's your sixth thickest string to tune open. There, just. Okay, so we can tune sixth string, fifth string, fourth, third, second, first. You see how the first thinnest string, your highest string, is just slightly above middle C, okay? So elephants and dogs grow big ears. So if we looked at that and we played through from here, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, we're going to get this out there. Starting, including your open strings, we've got E, so let's see, make, make sure you can see it, E open, F, G, open fifth A B C D E F G A open second B C now we're not far off the top there that C is telling me it's there look so we work through here E F G A B C D E F G A B C there And then we've just got the D and open E. Okay, so E, F, G, taking us to there. A, B, C, taking us to there. D, E, F, let's go for the G. G, there. A, A, B, C, taking us to there. So we would agree, second string, first fret on your guitar, middle C. In relation to your open strings, in relation to the piano, middle C, that is telling us that is open C. 
middle C represented by that. This is what's particularly important when you see it there, that's middle C just below the line even on your guitar literally. But it's not played like that. It's actually played there. This is what we use to play that. So this is literal middle C but when it's actually wrote down it's an octave higher, they write it an octave higher here. So in effect that is played as the middle C even though it's not the middle C okay. That there would be, well if you carried on up here C, D, E, F, G till we get to the equivalent of that lot C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Let's go there look, C, D, open first, E, F, G, A, B, C. We're up on the 8th fret on the 1st string. So that is 8th fret of the 1st string. But we play down here. So what I've got here, it's uh, the higher register C played as if it's the middle C. So if you get, say, all Claire Dillon wrote, wrote in uh, music notation, just open the book somewhere if you find it. It's a classical piece. Uh, it's uh, there's no, I don't think there's no copyright on it. It's kind of like I think it's known as public music. And you'll see that the first note is C there. And when you're taught to play the guitar, you're taught to play that there. Okay. And so it's just going to go. Uh, so I'm hoping that's going to uh, sort out the confusion with middle C. Remember your open strings are tuned to there. When you work through all the notes from your open si sixth string, you're going to find middle C that's wrote there like that. And that is middle C. But um, higher register C is played as if it's the middle C there. So we're raising everything by an octave. It's for simplisticness of playing on the guitar. Um, of course if you were to play all Claire Della Loon on here, lower down, there, there's the other C here. And that's actually this one here. There. You could play you could play it from there. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything more to add to that without it seeming a little bit too confusing. Literal middle C, fictitious middle C, or replaced there. So it's a higher register, higher octave, it's known as, and it's played as if it's the middle C. Okay, so give us some feedback, tell me if that comes across alright.